Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 28th of November, 2023. It's 11.52 a.m. And I'm going to do a trade recap here on my trade on um, on the ES, um, ES futures. So let's start here with a little bit of the, the context of the market. Um, let's see, pull out this. All right, so we had this breakout here. I call this um, this resistance level. I just call it a magma chamber. This is just it's just my preference to kind of um, give give things um, interesting names. You know, I mean, it's really supposed to be called the creek within the Wyckoff theory, but um, I just changed it to magma chamber because it represents like um, more resistance to me. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. So let's see here. We had this breakout, breakout from resistance, big bullish breakout. We had some consolidation here. So this is like the preliminary stop that happened here. Um, we went into consolidation a little bit and then we broke above here and created the buying climax. So I labeled that buying climax right there. And after we pulled back, uh, um, I labeled this automatic reaction. So that's the reaction from um, the buying climax right there. Then we had this upward trust um, in a distribution, but it's not really a distribution. So that's that should be labeled just up trust because this is considered a reaccumulation in um in like a bullish setup like this. You know, we're moving up, so it's considered reaccumulation, right? You have to see real signs of weakness to consider this a uh, redistribution, right? So um, this is the uptrust right here, labeled that the uptrust. Um, this is actually the the buying climax is actually the resistance level of the range, right? This is this uptrust is just a push out of the range. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we had some pullback here. We created um, these um, lower points of support, last point of support right here. I labeled it right here from this. When was that? Let me see. Um, this was on the 22nd of November, right? So that was the first um, last point of support. But then we came back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we came back here and we created a lower point of support here at um, on the 27th, right? So that was another label here, last point of support number two. Stocks run ES. And Stocks then, run ES. And then, um, let's see, today, was it today? Yes, yeah, so today we created a test right here at um, the low of... 45.47, right? So I labeled that a test, right? So in an reaccumulation phase, we're currently in phase B, right? So phase B is supposed to be a volatile kind of um, price range within the Wyckoff theory. So after we created this automatic reaction here around um, the 21st, 21st, 22nd, 21st of November, right? um after we started pushing up that's the end of phase a right there right as soon as we create the automatic reaction and we start moving up this is now in phase b so we have been in phase b for a little while now so all of this is phase b we have some volatility coming in here and then we move down and created the test right so right now we could be entering into phase c with this bullish run up right now so we just broke above the buying climax and also this minor sign of weakness here. I labeled that right there. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. I don't know if you're probably seeing this big enough. All right, so let's look at the structure here. All right, so We got this minor sign of weakness right here at, um, when was that, when was that? Okay, the 27th created this minor sign of weakness and we started to move down, right? So we created the test here 
I think this was in the overnight. Yes, at 8 o'clock this morning, we created this test right here at 45.47. Now, I wanted to point out something here where we're looking at the market profile a little bit as well. And I'm just doing this to, to get like a context, right? So let me just see on the bigger picture here, we're in phase E breakout in a bullish trend, right? So we're breaking out phase E in a bullish trend, right? But on the smaller on the smaller structure here, it's a reaccumulation in this level right here, right? So I'm just breaking down this reaccumulation really. Now this here is the market profile um, value area high for last week. This is the value area low, and you can see it's a quite a wide range, right? So now we have this week, we have a higher value um, market profile right here. Just point this out, right? So the value area low is now above previous week's value area high, right? So value area low for this week is 45, 48.75 which price actually tapped here and that's where we got that bullish push up from, right? So also noting that the range of this week's um, value area is quite smaller than the previous week. So it's it's kind of leaning towards a breakout. It, it could get, it could break out easily if we start um, pushing up higher because um, of the narrow range, right? So let's see here. Let's just take a look at the Camarilla setup here for the week as well. All this is kind of building the context of, of what is most probable within this phase right here of this redistribution, right? So let's see one second. All right, so this this here was previous week's Camarilla R3, which was at let's see here, 45.64.50, right? And now we have Camarilla R3 for this week is at 45.85, right? And um, Camarilla S3 for the previous week was all the way down here at 44.90.75. Just point that out, Camarilla S3 previous week. And that has now moved up to this level right here, which is 45.51.75 or 45.51, let me just make it a little bigger, 45.51.50, right? So we have a overlapping higher value because Camarilla S3 did not exceed the previous week's Camarilla R3. Right, so it's an overlapping higher value is moderately bullish for the week, right? So it's kind of lining up here. It's above the the uptrust that we had on the 22nd of November. So all this is creating resistance right here around this area, right? So you can see we already started getting some rejection here in this level right here. Let's see this across right so in this area right here we're starting to get the rejection right so let's see here all right so this morning I was kind of looking at it like um, we might get some continuation to the downside and probably come back to maybe the automatic reaction or maybe come back to at least like 45, 40, 45, 45, right? I was thinking we're going to break down to at least that level, but um, I actually took a short at the open and um, we ran into some news at 10 o'clock and I decided to close that short. And it was good. It was a good idea because of this happening here because we're actually reaccumulating so you could expect a bullish move at at any second right so the short trade is kind of tricky you know so i just went with the, mem the momentum of what was happening and um 
quickly just stopped out of the trade. So let me see here. Let's let's go to the five minute chart. Right, so where's the open? The open is right around here, right? So let me just show you this, blow this up a little bit. And I'm going to throw on the Camarillas because I was using the cams today as a breakdown level, right? So here is Camarilla S3 at... Um, 45.56. Now, Camarilla, the Camarilla levels is in an overlapping lower value on the daily um, cams, right? So it's an overlapping lower value, meaning that Camarilla R3 did not exceed Camarilla S3 of the previous day, right? It moved down, Camarilla S3 moved down as well, but it didn't, Camarilla R3 did not exceed Camarilla S3's level from the previous day. So it's moderately bearish. Now, we did adhere to that um, Camarilla setup in the ETH. You see, we had this re these rejections here just below Camarilla R3. And all the action basically took place in the in the ETH, right? We had all the move down. We created this level here. Um, we came and we tested Camarilla S4, which is at 45.51, and um, that broke. Yeah, that broke this lower lower um, last point of support here as well. Um, we got a little bounce and came back down. I think this is just before the open we came here and we created this test right so i was looking i was trying to go with the the overall the overall trend from the eth to get a little lower right and um that was kind of going in line with the cams as well but the context still has to remain prevalent in your mind that um, this is reaccumulation and stuff like what's happening now with this big trend day is always possible right because they are reaccumulating contracts so let's see here at this Camarilla S3 breakdown let's see I'm gonna go to my execution platform here where you can see these executions <clears throat> so at um, at 9.35, I went short. Um, it came down here. I think we actually broke down a little bit on the next five-minute candle. Let's see, let's make this a little bigger. Right, so first short here was at 9.35. Eventually kind of took a small loss right there, broke even because it broke. It broke down, came back up before it shoot up here. I just um, shot up here. I just, you know, just broke even the trade. Um, right Stops here. Stops run ES. Stops run ES. Right here, I actually took um, took a buy because of this um, volatility here. It was looking kind of bullish because I'm expecting a little reaccumulation with the bullish vibe and all that. So I took a buy here and actually took a stop out right here. So that was a loss right there from 40, 45, 53 and stopped out here at 45, 50, 75, right? So after that, just flipped, went short um, right here at 45, 51, added to the position here at 45, 49, 75, added to the position here at 45, 51, 25 and this went against me Stops a little bit here, yes. right so I, I, started, yes. I started to get worried about about this trade here um but my stop i just gave it like a wider stop because i was just giving it room to for the volatility right so when we come when we pushed up i probably added i think when we came back down not sure but um when we when we did not exceed these highs right here of like um 45 53 50 and we stopped we stopped moving up at 45 53 25 here 
Then I went short, I added again to the position, 45.52. And just before the news came out on this candle, I ended up stopping out right here because it went into profit kinda kinda decently. You know, and um I was thinking to probably exit down here at 45, 49, 25, but I was trying to push the time. It was like around 9.58 or something like that. And I was seeing like we were we were having some some real bearish kind of movements, right? And I was trying to get oh let me just let me just show you this real quick here on bookmap, right? So right here you could see just before 10 o'clock, we had this this bearish action right here, right? And I was trying to see if I could get a little more just before 10 o'clock for it to push down here a little more. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger for you. Right, so we had this, um, let's see, put this back on, right. Right, so we had this bearish action and I was trying to break the lows of this um, this test right here. I was trying to get a little more probably to get down to this um, liquidity level here at 45, 48. But then just before 10, we started to get this bullish movement here. So that's why I just stopped out. I just took off everything because I was just trying to get some, some more movement down to this liquidity level before the news. I think it was the consumer report or some kind of thing like that. Some, some news report like that. Something to do with consumers. Can't remember. And we started to move back up and I just stopped out. So it was basically just a little scalp, you know, but, um, in hindsight, I should have stuck more with um, the the bullish sentiment of the market and the reaccumulation, but um, it was just really bearish in the ETH, right? So going back here to the ETH, it's just the bearishness of it. I was trying to get a little more to the downside, thinking we would probably test maybe, I think this is Camarilla S5, 45, 45, and I was trying to get to that level. But, you know, it kind of stopped up before the buyers came in and we have a huge trend day. So within this context here, I didn't really want to just with. All right. Let me let me say it like this. Within this volatility right here, I just didn't trust the, the long too much, you know, and I already had my profit here for the day and I just didn't decide to risk anymore, you know, because what's the point? um right here right now we're retesting the buying climax and this could be a nice bullish run into the the close from this level maybe it's going to retrace retest camarilla r3 but it's looking pretty bullish right now um oh wait my bad yeah so let me just start over because I didn't switch over the screen, right? So the volatility here around Camarilla S4 and stuff like that, it just didn't give me the the incentive to go long, right? When it when price started to change the way it's moving, like from the downtrend, we're getting that support, we stop we stop moving down. I just didn't really trust the bullish move that much to really go long within this bullish um this this trend move we had today so that's basically my trade for today it was just like a, a little small scalp nothing to really write home about or you know it was just a regular day um tomorrow i'm looking for if we break out from 45 80 probably get some kind of retest around this area here and then probably look to target some areas probably to 4600 and stuff like that 4600 and beyond that right now after after this bullish move we might get some sideways movement around this area of resistance as well so all that i'll i'll probably keep in mind you know so not a great day but not a bad day as well it was the best decision i made today was to close the trade before the news came out so i wouldn't get squeezed in in this in this bullish run
All right, here also is a uh, Malaksha Lomo. That was my trade recap on ES. Um, I gave you all some context of how I'm looking at the market um, on the one hour chart. And I'm looking at this as a reaccumulation phase right here. This is supposed to be phase B. And if this continues from the support here, we're now entering phase C to break out of the phase or come up to the break, the top of the phase, um, the top of the range. We already broke out of the top of the range here at the buying climax. We're targeting the up trust level here at um, 45.80.50. And um, we'll probably enter a phase D where we break out now and start heading heading higher and head into phase E when we get a retest and start pushing higher. So that's basically my setup for the week. I don't really expect a big retracement back down to like um, 45 to the 7 or back into the range. But if that does happen, that'll be a, a, a extension of phase B. That will no longer be a phase C anymore. We'll be just continuing in phase b if we come back into the range around these levels all right y'all so it's malak shalomo hope you all enjoyed the breakdown and you all trade safe and stay blessed